Ah, good morning. Um, I'm Brian Studer. I'm the safety director with CNW Trucking, and we're going to talk to you today about load distribution on a flatbed trailer. Uh, when you're figuring out where you're going to where you're going to put your loads on a flatbed, uh, first thing you need to do is find a center point uh, because that's going to tell you where you can put in front of it, what you put behind it. Because as you can see, this is a spread axle trailer, and according to the DOT, we're allowed 20,000 pounds per axle when we go over a scale. All right. On the front, when your tractor's hooked to it, you're going to have your tandems, and you're allowed 34,000 pounds on that. So, on a spread axle trailer, you want to keep most of your weight to the back. All right. So, a lot of trailers are going to have a little sticker on the frame. It's going to tell you where the center point is. It'll say center load point or center. All right. But if you're not lucky enough to have a trailer like that, uh, you can figure it out pretty easily. On a 48-foot trailer, your stake pockets are two feet apart. You start at the front of the back and count your way. When you get to 24, you're pretty much at the center. So once you've established your center, um, depending on what you're loading, if you're loading a single coil, um, you're going to want to put your coil right in the center with the center of the coil slightly back from center. So you'll find your center point, maybe, maybe go a foot behind it, and start the center of your coil there. Um, if you're hauling anything else, um, you basically want to go split your load up half with a little bit more weight to the back than you do to the front. The key uh, point uh, for great distribution on any trailer is to find the center and know what your actual limits are. Thank you.